Welcome to Spotlight, providing thought leadership to plan, educate, and empower. Today's topic will review the necessary closeout steps after an insured loss in order to make sure that you're maximizing eligible insurance reimbursements, along with understanding the overall claim and reconciliation process. So let's get started by reviewing the three basic talking points in support of an insured loss. First, an independent field adjuster will schedule an initial site visit as necessary to complete a preliminary damage assessment that is specific to your loss. An estimated scope of repair is then completed for the claims team to support your overall coverage review. Second, the preliminary insurance estimate will be used in support of your claim in order to release an initial partial payment. The intent with the upfront payment is to help lessen the immediate financial burden that the ongoing recovery efforts can have on your organization. Again, the first payment is generally only a partial payment that's based on the repairs identified by the independent field adjuster. For discussion purposes, there's a good chance that additional insurance reimbursements may become available once you've completed your actual repairs and the overall claim review. Therefore, keep in mind that your replacement cost policy, commonly referred to as RCV, will reimburse you for the actual incurred cost of eligible repairs up to your stated coverage limits and less your deductible obligation. That is why it's so important for you to, to keep track of all of your incurred repair costs and reconcile those against your insurance proceeds paid to date. This is the only way to accurately ensure that you've accounted for all of your out-of-pocket expenses that are directly related to your loss. And third, as a public entity, we understand that your organization must follow certain procurement guidelines as it relates to a specific loss or a declared event that may not have been recognized in the initial adjuster's estimate. That is why it's even that much more critical that you include the claims team in that process. Ideally, this should be done prior to you approving any additional repairs or incurred costs outside of that initial preliminary adjuster's estimate. Working with the claims team through the procurement and repair process not only helps safeguard you from incurring those costs that might otherwise uh, fall outside of coverage, but also helps the claim team to do a better job in approving and maximizing all the eligible forms of coverage uh, that would relate to your specific loss. It's your ability to recover timely from a loss and to ensure that all of the eligible insurance reimbursements are realized. That's a collaborative effort between you and the claims team. In summary, your incurred cost along with supported documentation, and, and this can include, for example, contractor vendor invoices, purchase orders, uh, payment transaction reports. These must be submitted back to the claims team in order to true up any additional eligible insurance proceeds that still may be owed. This closeout process is really your responsibility and the claims team is depending upon you to share that information with them. So in closing, remember these five basic talking points as necessary to maximize your overall insurance proceeds, as well as to better understand the basic claim process. Number one, an independent field adjuster will provide a preliminary estimate based on the damages identified to date from their initial site visit. This may or may not include all repairs and codes and standards. Number two, insurance will generally release a partial payment against the initial estimate in order to support your initial recovery efforts. Number three, Identify all repairs and estimates associated with the loss by following your required procurement process. Compare these scope items and costs to the initial adjuster's estimate to ensure that all applicable repair items have been successfully identified. Number four, share additional scopes of work and costs with the claims team prior to contract award. This will ensure that you won't incur costs not otherwise approved for coverage that you were anticipating applicable insurance proceeds for. And finally, number five, Work with the claims team to true up actual repair or replacement costs incurred versus any insurance proceeds paid to date. This closeout process will ensure that all available insurance reimbursements have been accurately accounted for and that any remaining payments have been scheduled for payout. Well, that's it for Spotlight, providing thought leadership to plan, educate, and to empower. To learn more about our client-focused services, you can go to www.SynergyNDS.com or check us out on YouTube for some of our other project related videos and testimonials. Thank you.